A huge subsurface ocean of liquid water has been discovered on Mars. New research on Mars has revealed that a vast ocean of liquid water exists deep beneath the planet's surface. The findings come from a new analysis of data collected by the Mars InSight spacecraft, which spent four years listening for seismic tremors on the Red Planet. On November 26, 2018, the Mars InSight lander landed on Mars in a shallow crater called Homestead Hollow in the Elysium Planitia region. The main goal of the mission was to obtain information about the internal structure of the Red Planet and its contemporary geological activity. All this to understand how the planet neighboring Earth was formed. Scientific instruments mounted on board the lander conducted hundreds of geophysical surveys. Among them was the ultra-precise SEAS, seismic experiment for interior structure, seismometer and the HP3, heat flow and physical properties package, heat sampler, also called MOLE, which was designed and manufactured in cooperation with researchers, among others. From the Polish Academy of Sciences, it turned out that in the data collected by SEAS, Geophysicists found evidence of the existence of a large, subsurface reservoir of liquid water. Scientists have estimated that there is enough water in this reservoir to cover the entire planet with an ocean 1 to 2 kilometers deep. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Many studies conducted in recent years have shown the presence of water on Mars. This planet was once warm and humid. There were rivers and lakes there and their traces can be seen in the terrain and other geological structures. Researchers have determined that water deposited as ice is found at the poles, beneath the surface, but ice on the red planet can also be found in other areas. Now it turns out that there is much more water on Mars. Data collected during the Mars InSight mission suggests the existence of a vast ocean of liquid water beneath the planet's surface. However, it is out of reach. Nevertheless, it is an important element of the history of Mars and may allow for a better understanding of the evolution of the climate, surface, and interior of the Red Planet. The huge underground reservoir, discovered using seismic data collected by the InSight lander, contains enough liquid to cover the entire planet. However, it is too deep to access. It is located in a layer of fractured rocks lying at a depth of 11.5 to 20 kilometers below the surface of Mars. Even on Earth, drilling a hole to these depths would be a challenge. The deepest well in the world, Super Deep Kolsky Well, reaches a depth of just over 12 kilometers. In the distant past, billions of years ago, Mars looked completely different than it does today. Evidence that can still be found on its surface indicates that it once had vast seas, rivers, and lakes. The question is, where did all this water go? Until now, it was thought that it escaped into space along with the atmosphere of Mars. But new research indicates that much of it may have remained on the Red Planet. For four years, the Mars InSight mission lander sat on the dusty surface of the Red Planet and listened. During this time, it recorded over 1,319 seismic events. By measuring how fast seismic waves travel, scientists determined what material they were most likely to travel through. These are actually the same techniques that we use to search for water, oil, or gas on Earth, explained Professor Michael Manga from the University of California, Berkeley, CEO author of the study. The InSight mission far exceeded my expectations. By analyzing all the seismic data collected by InSight, Scientists determined the thickness of the crust, the composition of the core and its depth, 
and even obtained some information about the temperature inside the Martian mantle, he added. Waves generated by seismic activity inside the planet or from meteorite impacts change depending on the density and composition of the material through which they travel. Scientists analyzing data based on the behavior of seismic waves can draw conclusions about what material it might be. After applying models used to map underground oil and gas deposits to data from Mars, they concluded that seismic data from the InSight mission best matched layers of fractured igneous rock saturated with liquid water. Determining that there is a large body of liquid water provides some insight into what the climate was or might be like there. And water is essential to life as we know it. I see no reason why an underground reservoir couldn't be a livable environment. On Earth, deep mines are the habitat of life, the ocean floor is the habitat of life. We haven't found any evidence of life on Mars, but at least we have identified a place that should be able to support it," Magna noted. Manga also emphasized that a wealth of evidence, including river channels, deltas, and sediments, as well as rocks altered by water, support the hypothesis that water once flowed on the surface of the Red Planet. However, this period ended over three billion years ago, after Mars lost its atmosphere. The new findings indicate that much of the water did not escape into space, but seeped toward the planet's interior. <laughs>